Okay, hello and welcome back everybody. First things first, I'd like to apologise for my absence. It's been quite a while since I've last uploaded anything or even played the game. So, sorry for that. But, let's continue where we left off. I believe the plan was invade England. So those guys are going over there. These guys are going to wait for the boats to come down to them. Those guys are going to wait for the boats. These guys are walking over to invade. And these guys are just kind of like waiting on the boats as well. So that's fine. These guys probably don't need to exist. So we'll just disband them. What is your army like? 1.14. So if we just get you on the boats and out into the sea, we should be okay. I'm going to put it on speed 3 for now, just so that I can catch up with what's going on. Not everything will go crazy and I'll lose everything. And let's get going. So I don't know what my message settings are like now either, because there was a patch, and I think it was only really a minor patch, but nonetheless there was a patch, um, so that's probably messed up my message settings. All my message settings just aren't what they're like. Okay, The Khan of Bavaria is not joining our war on England, but the King of Sweden is. That should make this even easier. Chief of Yaptaland, who I don't really care about, also joining. You can go home and probably... Oh, yeah. Okay, I really need to sort out message settings, because it would have been good to remember these. Oh, whatever. Get on the boat. Come down here. We'll pay some attention to that. You guys, come and join us in Galloway. See if you can get there alive. Good luck. Looks like Dublin is in the war. He's got a lot more troops than I would like to see there. And Difford is in the war, and also has a significant number of troops. So, actually, come straight down here, get all of my troops away. Uh, okay. Their special event boats. And in fact, we might need them for messing around with the armies that are coming our way. Boat bombing is not a thing like it used to be, but it is still a thing. Right, 5th of August, 9th of August, you're going to be okay. I mean, it's good to have the manoeuvrability, basically. You get off the boats. 3,000 guys should do it. 3,500 guys should do it. Quite nicely. And if we need to, we can always hire mercenaries later on. Oh, I don't want these guys to group up. But I don't want to leave the siege when we're so close to being finished. Oh well. Such is life. Okay, we've sieged. Right, yeah, my message settings have definitely been messed up, because that needs to be a pause game action. Oh well. As long as we stay in hills for now, we should be alright. York is also being invaded from somewhere else. Oh, they've got peasants, so that's going to help. You want to marry my niece? Sure. Can't bring you into the war with it, but sure, nonetheless. Right, you guys group up, get on the boats, and the boats can get over here. Uh, I have thus far been cheated of a glorious death in battle. Sadly, I no longer have the endurance or constitution necessary to sustain my berserker rage. Oh, that's a shame. I was kind of hoping to die in battle. Well, whatever. I've lived a long and glorious life. 55, there you are. 55 is when you lose berserker. Or maybe that's when you have your chance of losing berserker. Whatever. Did another person join this war? Oh, I forgot that you can... Just basically anyone can join the war because it's a prepared invasion. Ingolfer of Rogaland has given me a bizarre and repulsive evidence concerning Godi Ragnar of Iona's sexual preferences. How should I use this juicy information? Uh, give me a reason to... No, I'll just keep the information to myself. I don't care. Right. There's those peasants, so they're not causing too much of a fuss. They're not causing as much of a fuss as I would like them to, I should say. Uh, 
and here comes the Yorkie, Yorkie army. Now we're defending in hills. I think we'll be okay. I'm not as good of a as a you know what I mean. I'm not as good of a leader as I was, but I think yeah, got that one easily. Nice. Uh, leaving half of them dead. More than half of them dead. Nice. And he's retreating. So we'll follow him with some of the army. There we are. Leaving behind enough guys to siege. And we've captured this guy, ransom him. Oh, I forgot about this new menu system. Perfect. You guys, just you guys, follow them. Make sure everyone dies. And we've won that siege. Taken him, can I ransom you? Ten gold, better than nothing. Finish them off, please. Killed somebody. Nope. Right. Uh, we don't really need to chase them down. Let's just go to... Uh, so this was just a tribe, wasn't it? We want to start sieging their castles and things. That's going to be worth more war score. So let's go down to Cumberland. Plains, 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 plains. Uh, just killed the rebels. That's not really much good to us. Uh, the rebels have gone, so let's go see York before it has time to replenish. That'll be a nice easy one. Thank you. And it's their capital, so... Oh yeah, so killing the rebels has actually done us a favour, I think. Oh, who's this? Looks like an enemy. Gwyneth. Oh, whatever. Here comes another large army for us to kill should we want and another one hooey prepared invasions not easy oh and another large army yeah this is not going to be easy at all Sweden you know you said you were going to help oh I've got people over here uh, yeah they could be useful oh it looks like Sweden might be bringing someone how much are you bringing? Uh, Swedish galley 43, so they might be bringing 4,000. Yep, they brought 4,000 guys. Don't lose that battle, you... Uh, attacking off a boat into hills, not a great plan on the Swedish army's part. But hey, they brought 4,000 guys, so I can't complain. <laughs> Once we finish with York, we'll go and take care of this. With the aid of Sweden, shouldn't be an issue at all. Why are we losing... Uh, he controls England. Oh, because what we sieged wasn't in England. Okay, once we've sieged York, that should be fine. Oh, Sweden, stop losing battles. Okay. off what we can. Oh wow. That was a horrible murder. Um, see if we can get these guys. The music seems a bit quieter than normal. I'm not sure if I've turned it down or what. There we are. Right, Sweden hopefully will now stop losing all the battles and we can get on with what we do best.
like killing these guys here before they can group up any more people. So we seem to be fighting basically the entirety of Ireland and Wales as well as York. Well, these guys are trying to run away. They didn't make it. Right, let's go back to York. Start sieging that down. How much did you cost me, Sweden? Oh, 19% and 8%, uh, 29, 30, 33% war score he cost me. Losing stupid battles like that, Sweden. Attacking off boats is almost as bad as the EU4 AI. <coughs> oh well, he's here now. Can't complain. Speaking of being here now, these guys have been here for a while. Do you want to come over to York? I'm just going to turn up the volume a bit. I just can't hear any music. Normally it's only really faint and in the background. It's probably really loud for you guys, but I can't hear it, so... I mean, it, it's probably fine for you guys at the moment. Okay, that's the Church of York. Let's go finish these guys off again before they can group up some more. Looks like we might be too late anyway. Let's go to Cumberland since they seem to be coming to Teviotdale. And we'll let them get round into the plains, maybe into Durham. And then we'll chase them down. Let's go. Should have them here. Oh, and looks like Sweden's bringing some more guys, so. That's fine. Oh, 280. Well, something. I'll take your money. And I'll take your money. You don't have 70 gold. Well, fine. Thank you. We can call in allies. Oh, well... They just didn't bother retreating for some reason. Well, let's see if we can get them now. And Sweden's going to take that battle. Thanks again, Sweden. Oh, okay, they've come for me. Well, you didn't do a very good job there, did you? You can't afford the ransom, so too bad. going swimmingly. Let's see if we can upgrade some stuff with our money. Uh, like the Earth Hill Fort in our capital. Sounds good. Where are you retreating to? Uh, Lothian. Tell me you have some money, please. Yep. Wonderful. Lux Guardian. There you are. Right, come down and start sieging York. Speed up the siege a little bit. Oh, actually. Go via Lancaster. Thank you. More money. Thank you. And let's see if we can't uh, upgrade this as well. 
wonderful. I know that we're going to lose some of this land, um, but having it upgraded is not a bad thing. So that when we do eventually stop being a tribe, we uh, can turn as much of it into castles as possible, basically. And it seems like maybe the music is off completely because the game's sounds are really loud. No? Hmm. I'm just going to turn music up slightly. I just can't quite hear it. There we are. I can hear it faintly in the background now. It's just freakishly quiet for me. And I don't like playing in complete silence like that. I also need to change that blinging sound. That's just a pain. Oh, and they've got another city here for us to pillage. Wonderful. I do like pillaging cities. Right, that's his capital holding sieged. Let's see if we can't go and finish off another army here. Oh. He's going to try and unsiege Galloway again. So is there a way to see what we're, is there a, like a, that's what we're at war with at the moment, that red bit. And we're winning. <laughs> oh, Sweden's tiny. No, Sweden is big. But the person who's actually involved in the war is tiny. Oh well. Not an issue. He's helped us as much as he needs to. Let's go down here and then back up to Durham. Unless he's ready to surrender, but I doubt it. Force demands. No. He won't give up because it's taking all of his land. And the AI will never give up if you had to take the last of their land. Which is reasonable. That's one of the times where I don't mind the AI not quitting. Is when they would lose the game in inverted commas. When they surrender. More dead people. Right, let's just go and finish this army off here then. They just keep popping up, these armies. They won't stay down. We're murdering most of the fighting population of the British Isles here. Ninety-seven percent. Fighting armies might actually just get us to a hundred percent. To be honest, we might not need to. Uh, whoops. Educate. Thank you. Might not need to see anything else, and I kind of hope we don't because it would be a pain. this. 98%. Okay, that wasn't worth it. <laughs> it's easier to siege than a castle, though. This northern land. And if we can get 1% for each holding that we siege, it won't take long to siege at all. Oh. No. Oh, Sweden just keeps bringing people in to die, though. I wish I could tell Sweden to get out of the war. <laughs> it's like, Sweden, stop, please. You've you've done good, Sweden, but stop, please. Okay, this army down here is growing into something large enough to get me war score, so we'll siege this down, then we'll go have them. Oh, you want a marriage to my niece? Sure. I've got plenty of nieces lying around. Keep tripping over them. Wouldn't mind getting rid of a couple. Right, 100%. I'll take it. Right, now we get the fun part of distributing the land. But that can wait till next episode. So, or in fact, I'll do it in between episodes and I'll explain to you how I've done it. Uh, until then, have a good one. Bye-bye.